All right, Ross, you there? Yep, I'm uh, not going away. You don't have to ask if I'm there. You can well, just keep going. I'm here. <laughs> well, this is new technology for me, so I just want to make sure that I haven't lost you yet. Well, you're moving in a new direction, and I think when you want to take a new direction inside, you can think to yourself, I really want to succeed. No, you really want to succumb to a direction that leads you where you want to go. You understand? That's quite an inside joke there, Ross. And I'm when really... you have those feelings, I think you could give yourself a hand. We got another caller, Ross. You ready? Those feelings, yeah. All right. Hi, you're on the air at Frank Talks Pleasures and Lifestyles. What's your name and what's your question for Ross? Steve. How Hi. you guys doing? Very good. What's your question, Steve? Um, what's the best way to get these? in your head in terms of maybe memorizing because that's my biggest thing is is getting them down so I can recite them you know I know uh, one of Ross's students Kamal was didn't really get you know it wouldn't couldn't memorize but that's my problem you shouldn't memorize them just under first of all understand how they work understand, I do. look they're only examples yes sometimes you can do a pattern word for word and the girl's going to cream herself and jump on yeah, that's how it's happened countless times. And they're only training wheels. They're only designed to give you an idea of the kind of language that excites women. So instead, what I would do is write your own pattern. Think yeah. of a theme and a subject that would excite women and write your own pattern. Gotcha. Create your own pattern based on understanding how they work. You know, one of the things I would recommend, Dave Riker has a new course. It's a speed seduction language course. Go to his website. It's DaveRiker.com. D-A-V-E, D-A-V-E-R-I-K-E-R.com. Order it directly from him. DaveRiker.com. Pick up those two courses. It'll show you how to get around having to memorize any. Sounds good. Steve, thank you very much for the call. Just uh, we're going to go to commercial, and we'll be back right after this. Frank Talks is sponsored in part by Everything Out of Her Mouth Is a Test, a man's guide to the emotional needs of women. Ladies, does your man squash your inner vixen? When you ask him to repeat what you have just said to him, does he look at you like a deer caught in the headlights? Does he think that leaving the game on while you talk to him is a good idea? Is his favorite phrase, yes dear, you are absolutely right? Does wife or girlfriend mean boring and dull to him? Ladies, don't you wish that he knows what you mean when you ask him if you look fat? Then you need to buy him the book, Everything Out of Her Mouth is a Test, A Man's Guide to the Emotional Needs of Women. On sale now at franktalks.com. From Loser to Seducer is the story of Frank B. Kerman. This book marks the triumph of a nice guy over most of his inner demons. This includes going from being a loser to managing five lovers at the same time, his first Valentine's Day with two women at the same time, and getting back to one that got away. Want to learn how you can change your life? Buy this book at franktalks.com. And we're back on Frank Talks Pleasures and Lifestyles, interviewing Ross Jeffries. Ross, I got to ask you one of those uh, potential no comment questions. Sure. Is there a special lady in your life right now? No comment. Dude, let's let's talk about having relationships. Once you have mastered the art of seduction, is love even possible? Is it possible for a seducer to actually find love when he can create attraction and connection? Well, uh, with, with a well, woman. That's a silly question. Look, let's turn it around. Is it possible for someone who lives in nothing but scarcity and who can only accidentally, occasionally find someone who's attracted to them, is it really possible for that person to ever love because they're coming from such need and scarcity? Let's turn the question around. <clears throat> when someone's coming from a, po- from a poverty of experience, very little experience, are they really loving or are they just finally settling for anyone who's feeling their desperate need? Do you necessarily think that polyamory is better than monogamy? I believe the choice is always better than enforced standards that may not fit your your own individualistic needs. And do you think that it's possible for a man who has mastered the art of seduction to ever really find the one? Does the one even exist at that point? I don't know what the one means. Is it possible to find someone who you can continually make the choice to love and really enjoy? Of course. That's a ridiculous question. Of course. I think it's very rarely possible on the other side of the equation for someone who doesn't know how to create attraction very well because, you know, when they do find it, it's usually in a, in, a, in a background of scarcity, and that doesn't work for anybody. 
In your opinion, at what point does a speed seduction practitioner go from conscious to unconscious competence? <laughs> I don't know. Like, you want me to identify the number of months, years, weeks? I don't understand how the... <laughs> it's not a bad question. It's just a difficult one to answer. I, I would say when they no longer feel that they have to stop to try to figure out every situation and things are... Uh, things no longer feel like you're pushing through something to make it work, then you've got a level of mastery. But let me say this. No one, no one, myself included, and any of the students I've ever met, oh, ever masters women, ever. The best we can do is do really well and be on even footing with, with these wonderful, chaotic, powerful, amazing, magical, maddening, lovely fellow humans called females, okay? The best we can hope for is parody <laughs> because they have tremendous power sexually. They have tremendous intuitive capabilities. They are formidable. Uh, even the weakest of them is formidable. <laughs> so um, don't get your uh, don't get your nose too high up in the air because I will tell you, mastery when it comes to women is the recognition that <laughs> there's no such thing as complete mastery. You're always learning. There's always going to be chaotic situations that blow up in your face. <clears throat> That's life. That's living. Deal with it. I got to I got to ask you something here Ross. When somebody is just starting out with your material mm -hmm. and they're inundated with so much other material out there from the seduction community. 